My name is Mo Chamble Thomas. I am an eighth grade inclusion specialist here at Two Rivers. So we are an inclusion school, which means we do special education within the classroom setting. That means that students with special needs are educated amongst their peers in the classroom, and we try to do more push-in services where the special educator is in the classroom with all of the students. So that means I service everyone, and everyone is included in the learning process. So I calculated my teaching experience. Um, I've been teaching for nine and a half years and four and a half of them have been here at Two Rivers. Wow, the characteristics of this school that make it unique are the fact that we are a community. Um, students, teachers, parents are all engaged in the same process and that's nurturing that, these diverse students to become lifelong active participants in their own education. Um, I also love the community amongst teachers. Um, we collaborate. Teachers, we are interdisciplinary in our practice and so their social studies teacher and the science teacher are also collaborating with a special education teacher and the ELA teacher or the English teacher. And so we're all collaborating and thinking about pro programs and activities that are helpful to all of our students and that cover a wide variety of subject areas. The school leadership is really thoughtful in their process, especially around creating our professional development. We have a professional development program that we call the DOS loop, and that is a data analysis strategy loop. And that's when we are looking at best practices in education. We're finding readings behind that to support that. Um, we are looking at those readings, and then we are looking at those in terms of our own practice and whether we are doing those things or not. We are implementing those things into our classroom, and then we're looking at student data on a weekly basis, and we're analyzing whether students got what we were teaching and the way that we were teaching. And if not, then we need to make some adjustments in the classroom. And we're so heavily endowed in data and looking at that data in real time. So if students are not getting it, then I have the potential to reteach something the next day so that students are able to get the learning and the understanding that they need. Is how do I engage with families? We have a process called My High School Search, um, and we are extremely endowed in helping our parents and our families find the right choice high schools. So we are in constant communication. We have evening events. We also have what's called an advisory or a crew, where I'm specifically in communication with 12 parents on a regular basis. Um, I was just speaking to parents about homework. I was just talking to another parent about an essay for a high school. So there's constant communication via email. I even text my parents sometimes during the day when they text questions or if they have anything that is concerning them. They know that they are free to call me, contact me whenever, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can with the answers. Okay, so my name is Carolina Riveros Renas, and I teach English in various forms, and I teach sixth grade and creative writing um, language arts. I've been teaching all together about 14 years. Uh, I've taught about four in high school, and then I came to Two Rivers about 10 years ago now. So. So some of the characteristics that make the school unique is that I feel like we really focus on the individual child as well as how they work with uh, other kids. And so I feel like this real um, rounded approach to kind of not just teaching academics where we need to meet you, but also teaching social skills and how to work with others and um, in ways that are really effective and really meaningful and that really translate to where they're going to be in kind of the world as workers and as people who are going to make a change in the future. So, One of the ways that 
the school supports me in being a great teacher is by having um, all kinds of supports for teacher, but specifically I feel like Wednesdays uh, professional development sessions are extremely helpful in uh, really helping you develop, just like we do our kids, develop your teachers where they need most help and really um, helping those areas that are, you know, that you can work on particularly in building your strengths as well. We engage in with the families of our students in a bunch of ways. I feel like we try to do a lot of different things. There's everything from basic things like newsletters and emails and things like that. But we also, I think, one of my favorite ways that we communicate learning to our students is through showcases and ha kind of having family learning nights and where parents kind of get to really see the school in action. I think that that's wonderful.